Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration. We are still working on our little project that we've got here our, using our zigzag card. So um, I did this first and this is our second one and now I'm on to the third page. Okay, so I'm going to use the gel press on this today. Um, I think it's going to take fine. Um, using the elements and some of the mica sprays. I've also got my Versafine Claire here for stamping. So let's have a look here. So I've got my square one. This is square Lee. And I've got my brayer. And I've picked two colours. So I've got pine and sundance. So I'm going to just pop those on top of the gel press. Bring in some of that lovely yellow and then the pine. We put those to the side, that's all we need those for. And now I've got my mist, my mica mist. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a shake. And let's just give it such a light spray and then I'm also going to use some water down on my mat pick that up with your fan brush and let's add a little bit of water to that as well so let's have a look see what we've got Try and aim to get it around the middle of the card and give that a squash down. We'll have a look what we've got. So I'm quite happy with that background. I'm going to now dry that off. Okay, that's nice and dry. I've got one of my worded stamps here. Let your spirit take flight. And I've got the twilight. So I'm going to ink up. And I'm going to pop that the right way round. Let's just pop that down there. And I'm going to do that all the way around the edge. So another one over here. And here. And then our last one. So we've got our, one of our little flourish stamps. I'm just going to ink that up again. I'm going to stamp off. Okay, and then just dot a few about. I might add more in a while, but I need to do something first, which I'll show you now. I'm going to pop this to the side and then I'm going to take some paper. This is just normal photocopy paper. And I'm just going to rip a piece out. And then I'm taking my third sticker stencil. back on there, put that to the side and then we're going to pop him down like so. So 
So I'm taking a couple of colours. I've got the line punch and I've got mermaid. I'm going to start with the line punch. grab a slightly smaller stencil brush just going around the outside okay And then taking the very small stencil brush, this is great just for the edge. Just work my way all the way around. Like so. And now and I've got a lovely little stamp here from a set. And I'm gonna ink up and start stamping. Now I'm using the first and second impression. I'm using the first one on the edge where it's dark, second one move it in. Take this off. So make sure that that is dry. I'm going to just cover him back up. And then taking our script stamp, we're going to ink up in the twilight I'm going to stamp off make sure it's the right way and then let's give that a press down and see what we get Oop, I think the birds come off as well that's fine I can just pop him back. Stamp off and again. Now let's see what we've got. Now I'm going to just tear around the edge of the bird. And I'm hoping it's going to fit in the gel press area. I've not actually practice this one. So I'll just go with the flow. Okay, 
is going to go fine. I think that's a little bit stark, the white, so I am going to just put a hint of yellow around now. So let's grab one of the stencil brushes and let's just go over the top. And I think this will just soften it a little. And as I've said before, if you feel it doesn't work, then just save this. Save it for another day and you can use it again. Okay, that's much better now. I'm just going to do it a little bit tighter in some areas. Okay, so if I'm going to stick him down there, I feel like it's a little bit empty here, so I'm going to stamp here first. I'm not too sure whether this colour will be very clear, but we can try it. it might just be enough. much better. So I am going to go around the edge of the bird just to sort of distress the edge again. So let's pick a colour. I think I might go with the graphite. So just using the edge of the foam on the pad. I'm going to go around the edge. Taking that small stencil brush I only want a little bit Just work your way around the edge. Okay, let's go back. And there it is. That's great. Okay, let's pop some bippity boppity glue on. Now we know where we're going with it. It's nice and thin, so it will stick nicely onto the card. And then we'll just pop a few words at the top here. press down and now we're going to put some glitter over the top so we've got some golden rod I'm 
And I'm just going to smudge it with my finger. And I'm also going to use the green one here. Uh, this is the lime green. I'm just going to drag it up. Project done. So we've got one, two, and now three. Thanks so much for joining me. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have too. And you take care, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.